Four candidates are vying for the District 3 seat on the Salinas Council. They are Margaret Diarigo, David Masonev, Kerry Swenson, and Jesus Valenzuela. We begin with Valenzuela because he's the current councilman appointed to the seat in May after then-councilman Steve McShane abruptly resigned halfway through his term, citing a dysfunctional council. Valenzuela disagrees with that description, saying the council may not always see eye to eye, but as a body, it's getting things done. This council is bringing new ideas. They're developing in places that have historically been ignored. And so change is coming and change is messy and change is scary nevertheless. And we are seeing, like I said, more people that feel like finally the city is listening to them. Valenzuela is a community engagement manager for the city of Soledad, but it's his role as a community organizer years ago that's raising questions among voters. In 2020, Valenzuela wrote an article titled Reimagining Defund the Police, which he says was never about completely defunding the police, but rather shifting resources to more prevention and intervention efforts. For me, the overarching purpose is always trying to follow that peer model, prevention, intervention, enforcement, reentry, with the heaviest emphasis being on prevention, because it is a lot cheaper to invest um, in, in the youth and kids so that they have after school activities and have a positive road uh, so that they can mature into good responsible adults. If elected to the seat, Valenzuela says he plans to address the lack of housing, homelessness, public safety, and the city's roads and sidewalks. And he wants to continue being a voice for those areas of Salinas he feels continue to be marginalized. We are at a time where we are ready to do great things. And so we, we have to continue this momentum. Like I say, we're building a city where more than ever people feel like they belong. And we got to keep that momentum. Now it's not the time to go back. So that is why I'm, I want to stay on council. Margaret Diarigo is a current Hartnell College trustee and former trustee of Salinas Valley Health, who describes herself as a collaborator and consensus builder. Diarigo says the council needs to put aside personal interests. No hidden agendas, and uh, we all need to work together, and that's, that has not been happening. So I'm really hoping I can turn the, that around and uh, break down some of these barriers and silos and have everybody communicate with each other. Diarigo says she plans to focus on job creation, living wages, and quality health care, with public safety being the priority. We need to refund the, um, the police and the fire and, like I said, all the first responders um, at the proper levels so that people feel safe in their own neighborhoods. I think that's a that's a right that they should have. Diarigo has deep roots in Salinas Valley Ag, having worked in the industry for four decades. She also has the support of Big Ag's funding machine. And, you know, Ag is the backbone of this community. So um, I support them 100 percent. And I'm, I'm really glad they're stepping up because they really see that there's, you know, there's a lot of problems happening in our city and they're putting the money where it needs to be. David Masonev is a real estate appraiser and making his first run at public office. I don't have a lot of experience in government and that's by choice and I think it's a good thing because I think we've had a little bit too strong of political pulls one way or the other and, and the city is suffering for it. Mason believes he has the skill set to help the city become more responsive and transparent to the needs of residents. Yet he disagrees with the council's decision to implement rent stabilization. I think it's a Band-Aid. I don't think it really helps. What it really does is promote um, ill will between the, the um, property owners and the tenants. It's, 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 divis it's divisive instead of helping. Mason have says he'll take a deep dive into the city's budget, see where it can be streamlined. He says more needs to be done to attract and retain police officers. And he wants to address the city's homeless problem by getting the faith-based community more involved. I think the faith community can have a big impact on, on homelessness. I think the nonprofits that are around that are 
genuinely doing something can can have an impact and I think together they can really make a big dent on these things. And finally, Carrie Swenson, who's making her second run for the seat, having lost two years ago to Steve McShane. It's not about me, it's about the residents. And they want to be heard. I mean, that's the one thing I heard a lot in 2022. They, just, they want to know what's going on. They want to be heard. Swenson is a Hartnell College history teacher and small business owner. Swenson knows firsthand the struggles of small business owners and believes the city can be more supportive of them. I want to see what can we do to think outside the box and get, get business for people, do things a little differently. Um, for me, I don't like to, I like, I do the research. What, what are some other cities doing that we could implement here? On the opposite end, Swenson is not a big fan of Amazon, which is bringing a huge distribution center and roughly 2,000 jobs to her South Salinas district. Amazon should be investing in Salinas. They should be, we should not be paying for the infrastructure to have them come. Amazon should be paying for it. Amazon should be putting money into housing. Amazon should be paying for health insurance. If elected Swenson wants continued attention on fixing streets and sidewalks, economic development, and more affordable housing. We need new housing. And I know the city of Salinas is working on it. We need to think outside the box, get more housing so that supply and demand can even out, and then we can let go of the rent control, the rent stabilization. Whoever wins this race will serve out the remaining two years of Steve McShane's term. In Salinas, Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.